Hi everyone, welcome along. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to screw a tail rail to the wall. This particular one needs assembly first. Yours will obviously be different from this one, whatever one you've got. So this is the assembly instructions on a bit of paint here for this one, which I'm going to get together first. And then once it's assembled, we'll go about fixing it to the bathroom wall. So, do you reckon it'll be ready before dinner? Possible. <laughs> well, I'm feeling a bit peckish, I might leave it till after. <laughs> this is the one we've got all laid out, ready to go. Plugs and fixings over there. These are the side plates to go on the wall. Fairly simple to screw together. What called that bit of paper there? It looks pretty easy, doesn't it? Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's ours all screwed up, ready to go. This is where we're going to have it somewhere around here like this so thing to do now is get it nice and level and straight and get the holes marked now most bathrooms are tiled if yours is tiled you'll need a nice sharp bit to get through the tiles now you can get tile drills that will tile will go through easy they're sharp pointed or you can just use a masonry bit as long as it's a nice sharp new one uh, not an old blunt one otherwise it's going to slide all over the wall uh, there is another way when we do this of putting a bit of tape on the wall and marking the hole and it stops the drill from skidding around. I'll show you that when we get to that point, okay? But for now, it's marking it up nice and level, square, exactly where you want it on the wall that counts first of all. Right then, we've made a mark here. We want the top of our bath towel to be holder. Uh, and we don't say it'll be in line with this tile here. So it kind of comes across there like so. And now we've, all we've got to do then is get a level on here and make a mark on the opposite side. And that's going to be the top of this rail. So it's nice and level and straight. So when you're getting to the part where the drill has to come out, make sure it's not on hammer when you're going through tiles. Make sure it's on drill only. Okay, a nice sharp point in there. Uh, as I say, you can get tile cut drills that will cut through tiles. Now, when you put these to the wall to drill your hole, quite often it does this. We, you know, it is <laughs> an absolute what name, isn't it? We all know, we've all been there and done the <laughs> up the tile. So, what I'm gonna show you now is a little trick where I'm gonna put some on there now and mark the hole again. I'm, that's why I haven't marked the actual holes through the wall because I'm gonna put a bit of tape on it now. Mark the hole through the tape and then drill it and that'll hold this drill and stop it doing all this sliding around the wall business. You don't want that to happen. Now, even if you've got a plasterboard wall, this is solid, it's breeze block the other side, but even if you've got a plasterboard wall, you'll still have to drill tiles. So just drill through the tile and then drill your hole and then you'll have to use plasterboard fixers. There's lots of different types of plasterboard fixers. I'm not going into those today, but it's another subject altogether. But there's lots of different types, and you put a plasterboard fixer in there, and then fix your shelf to that, okay? So, but with a solid wall like this, I need to drill right in and use raw plugs. But we'll get on to that next time. I'll show you this little trick with the, with the tape. So I've offered it up and I've made my marks. Now you'll easily see them because I've got this tape on here. It's actually micropore plaster tape. So that's easy to mark. That's the other good thing. When you're trying to mark tiles, especially with a pencil, it's very hard to see it and it's easily rubbed off. But obviously with that, it's marked it dead easy. Now the idea is now that micropore tape or whatever tape you use, something nice and risky, even a plasters <laughs> um, will grip and stop it uh, from moving around when we do the first drilling. So we do that now. So we're ready to go now on our mark. Don't forget guys, goggles and ear defenders, okay? And don't put it on hammer, not until we're through the tile. Okay, get a nice push on. It should slide around, stay where it is. Here we go. Drill bit's not as sharp as it should be. And we're through. We're through the tile. Now, if you have block or brick or whatever behind there, change the drill to hammer and go through. If you've got plasterboard, just carry on going with that set to drill only. Okay, and make a hole for the, your plasterboard fixes. If you stop 
and you get through a little way and you hit wood, well that's fine because you can screw straight into that. You don't need a blast ball fixer. That's sheer luck if that happens. So let's just get this on hammer now so make a lot more noise. There you go. So once you've drilled the holes, don't get to take the tape off first before you put your plugs in. For me obviously being a solid wall, it's raw plugs. There we are then, last screw going in, tighten her up, and the job's a good one. Oh, look at that, lovely. There you are then, there we have it, all done and dusted. Can I have my dinner now? Of course. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Finally, my <me> dinner. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Okay, you know where to go for all my videos on DIY, usual place, Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching everybody and don't feel too hungry as I eat this lovely roast dinner. <laughs> Catch you again. Oh.